Cool. Sure. Thanks. So how you doing? How's the show so far? Uh, pretty good. Nice. I mean, like the show floor is super big. So yeah. I'm exhausted. Sure. <laughs> is this your first NAB? Or? Yeah, this is my first time. Awesome, man. Very cool. Where are you guys based out of? I'm in Taiwan. Yeah. So, so it's a long flight. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, For the show. Uh, we've got Raymond, and, uh, who's from, who's coming out of Cambodia. And then uh, our other guy, where did he go? I don't know. He's from Singapore. Okay. So, yeah, they're like... <laughs> we're all from Asia. Yeah, so he, uh, we're, we're complaining about, oh, it took me four hours to get here. And he's like, try 36 hours <laughs> of plane, layover plane, layover plane. It's like, no, 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 you win, you win, you win. So, anyways, whatever. Uh, what is it you guys do? Uh, actually, I'm a DT. Okay, great. Uh, also do some post-production post stuff. Yeah. Like in Resolve, Premiere, that kind of stuff. Awesome. So do all kinds of stuff. Cool. And are you guys doing like, uh, is it uh, stuff for, for, for YouTube, for Netflix? For... Um, some for YouTube and some just like for personal stuff, like weddings or like yeah. event, that kind of stuff. Great. Uh, and do you use any sort of like shared storage now or is it like the first kind of look uh, into not it? Yet. Okay. Because I have NAS, like maybe like 8 bay of NAS, but like if you're going to share something, uh, I don't know, it's just like such a hassle. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, yeah, so that's uh, largely what we do. Um, as you saw, there's our servers right there. Okay. Uh, and we essentially make a shared storage server that allows uh, you and several other editors to edit directly from the storage. So you're not moving it back and forth from your workstation back to the storage, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and especially if you're working on projects together, mm -hmm. it means you don't have to have uh, multiple copies of that project. All over so the we place. need to need need a local network to do that, or like we can do it maybe like other places. Absolutely. So originally, this was more geared towards everyone being on the same network in the same like building or proximity. Mm -hmm. But we've put forth a lot of uh, effort to create uh, remote workflows yeah. so that people from, uh, whether it's, you know, I had to go home because of the pandemic or I'm on vacation at a hotel or I'm just in a different branch of a company in a whole new country, um, it allows them to gain access to the home Evo, wherever it lives, mm -hmm. and uh, safely and securely continue to do the editorial work. Okay. So... It's a, it's a really nice, simple system, and uh, it comes with its own software suite as well. Mm -hmm. So along with that uh, server that's able to stream those files directly to your workstation, we also have built-in MAM, which is right here, we call Share Browser. We have a work-from-anywhere utility called Nomad, mm -hmm. and we have a automations manager called Slingshot, which allows you to basically offload all of the kind of boring manual tasks like backups or creating proxies or things like that and let the server do it automatically so that you can focus on the more difficult and more demanding stuff like editing mm -hmm. so that's how all of that works um, one of our key features is that all of that software is included with the server mm -hmm. so when you invest in it you have as many licenses as you want for as many people as you want. Okay. So in most cases, what you'll find is the exact opposite. Most companies will say, oh, every person is an additional 500 or $1,000. Yeah. And that's recurring every year to keep up to date. Um, so we try to make everything very straightforward and no nickel and diamond, as we say. No yeah. additional costs that make life a headache. No any subscriptions. Exactly, okay. exactly. Now, where subscriptions can be handy is if you decide you don't want any shared storage on-premise. If you want a cloud-based solution, we can offer 20, 40, or 70 terabytes of space. Okay. No egress fees, but uh, it has a monthly cost associated with it. So as long as you want to essentially rent that space, it's fine. And then when you're done, 
you just stop the service and it goes back into the pool and gets somebody else. Okay. So. <clears throat> you like, maybe like show your software and maybe like, what can we do? Yeah, absolutely. Use software. So, uh, inside of the shared storage, we can cut it up into multiple volumes okay. or just one big volume. The other nice thing is because we're very friendly to other technology you might have, anything that is SMB mountable, any NAS device for instance, or even like a hard drive on the workstation can be found by Share Browser, can be added into this column and then be indexed, made searchable and have tags and comments added to it over here. So you need to add those tags manually. So you can make them manual, or the Evo will allow you to take a uh, any sort of ingested file, mm -hmm. and it will kick off an automatic process that will then create a proxy, take that proxy, send it up to the cloud. So if you have an Amazon uh, services uh, account, mm -hmm. it'll then run that through their recognition software, bring it back down, with pre-coded, uh, we made it so that they can put their tags into our share browser. Okay. So all of these are AI generated tags. Okay, got it. Um, so especially if you have a, uh, a situation where you've got a ton of uh, old footage, for example, this is not your first piece of storage, you've got tens or dozens or hundreds of terabytes on a shelf somewhere, and you don't want to have to go through all of that again and manually give it <laughs> tags and comments mm -hmm. this can help a ton yeah. especially with what's inside of the actual footage itself where it might make sense to have a more manual touch however is with our uh, our customizable metadata fields mm -hmm. which then allow you to give more context around the actual film as opposed to what's in the piece of media itself okay so who was the director? What location was this? Um, was there a holiday going on? Things like that. Yeah. Um, the camera was being used. So it's an easy way to also mandate what sort of fields get entered. Mm -hmm. Whereas here, on the top, these tags, I can write anything. And what I think is important might not be what you think is important. So it's kind of a it's kind of a free form of a gamble. It's just like for searching, I mean, like it's just a tag. It's good for searching, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so then once you have all these tags, you can absolutely search. You've got a basic search, a more uh, like you can you can change which things you're looking for. So only searching tags as opposed to file names, and then you can also add a customizable multi-search feature which allows you to basically pit results against each other so I want everything that has water in it but nothing that has trees in it okay so that I can get a more concise result from that search okay okay so, so this is the browser part correct and also the maybe like other software yeah and then we've got the uh, nomad utility which essentially allows us to uh, help people work from wherever, as long as they have a secure connection, which can either be achieved through a classic VPN or our own VPN. Mm -hmm. uh, ours is, I think, preferable in many cases because instead of opening uh, a door into an entire network, it is simply opening a door into the Evo itself, the shared storage. So it's a much smaller, uh, you know, thing to consider for like an IT team or just anyone who has a concern about security. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, the ability to either take, once you've established that connection between one location and the Evo, you can then either pick pieces of a uh, Premiere project, which is a special functionality for Premiere, or just grab an entire folder or a, a bin, a bin being a collection of files that we put together here in the share browser. Okay. So it's essentially a list of shortcuts. Um, and so, where am I? 
Oh, that's the insert inside of Premiere. So you can basically do all your searching inside of Premiere, inside of Final Cut 10, DaVinci, After Effects, etc. Et and that's a plugin or like? It's a free plugin, yeah. Okay. So it's a panel that you get from the Adobe Exchange. It's been, you know, certified, run through its paces, okay. everything like that. So. And from there, Yeah, then you just simply uh, say where it is that it's going, all of your proxies, um, and then they deliver it to you. You can then work on your workstation, get all your editing done, push it back to the Evo, have it conform, mm -hmm. and then you have a ready product. Okay. So it's a push-pull workflow, but it's extremely elegant, and especially when you compare it to a lot of the uh, work-from-home utilities out there, very, very cost-competitive. Mm -hmm. So, like, so you can also do it with the browser, or like it's easier to use with this like remote stuff. Yeah, so for the remote stuff, this is the delivery mechanism, okay. but you can still use the browser via HTML to find everything you want, like prepare it in a bin, for example, and then just simply export that bin using this utility yeah. to then get it down to your workstation. Oh, got it. Yeah. So, that's the, uh, that's the impressive stuff, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, any other questions? So there is a third? third software or like you know. oh yeah so that's the slingshot and so how that works is inside of the admin panel of the evo slingshot allows you to essentially set up automations whether it be creating a proxy every time you see a new file okay. or whether it be uh, moving things off to Amazon Cloud every so often or even backing up to another NAS device every day or week or what have you um, those are all really kind of common and simple uh, maneuvers. We also have an entire Swagger document that then allows you to kind of uh, customize your own uh, automations. So if you really want to put the Evo into your own uh, workflow, workflow and make it, uh, you know, super built for you, we support all of that. We have a RESTful JSON API built into the Evo. So uh, if this is your uh, comfort area, it's not mine. Not mine. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, if you know somebody, feel free to invite them and have them mm -hmm. to support. So. I mean, like the proxy part. Yeah. So uh, what kind of uh, file do you support? Or like if it doesn't support it, how to use it? Sure. So. Uh, the Evo is very uh, agnostic to which file type is being used uh, on the full res material. However, when it comes to proxies, we will make a Apple certified ProRes proxy of any flavor or an H.264 proxy mm -hmm. for right now. Mm -hmm. We're constantly uh, exploring more okay. and just really want to uh, make sure that as that transcode gets more and more popular, that we have the right hardware in place to support that. Okay. And one of the things that we've done to help that process is actually uh, we introduced a new product called the uh, Mod. And the Mod's a small little device. It's actually right behind us on top of the oh. server rack. Okay. And what's cool about that is it can actually share the load of transcode jobs. So you can split multiple, like if you got a bunch of files and you transcode it, it will then uh, share that with the, the, the larger Evo and essentially act as a small uh, render file. Okay. So, more CPU makes for a happier, uh, faster, happier, faster situation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, the rack over there is super huge, and mm -hmm. I think, like, uh, your colleague just said, <laughs> you guys also make some smaller ones. So, I mean, like, What's the smaller one? Yeah, so the mod is a good example of that. And also we've got two, it's called uh, the Prodigy. 
So the Evo Prodigy can either be a desktop unit with four drives, or it could be a one RU uh, server okay. with four SSDs. Okay. So those would be the two like entry level ones. Um, they all have the same software functionality. It just really depends what kind of space do you have on it, what kind of speed is associated with it. You're basically scaling up size and muscle, okay. but the brain will always be just as intelligent from one Evo to the next. Yeah, the software is still all the same. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I think that's it. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. Um, let me. Did you? Did we scan you when you got in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, yeah. We'll have uh, James or Raymond reach out and uh, you're fine. continue chat. Yeah. Thanks. Take care. Thanks, you too. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks. Hey, Adam, did you think you